Hello, this is Julie. Welcome to the Thrifty Paper Garden. I did go to some thrift stores on Veterans Day and I did find a few things, nothing spectacular, so I wasn't going to do a video. And it was, we had a deluge of rain. It was incredible. I don't know how many inches we had got that day and I'm just glad it wasn't snow. But today, Friday, I saw that there was an estate sale. So I thought I would go out and check it out and it's a bright sunny day. So I couldn't pass up the chance to get out. And I walked into the house and the lady introduced herself and we started talking. And the estate uh, company had been through and they had already had the sale and they had priced some things just ridiculously high and she said, I'm just trying to make a good deal. Just make me a good deal. So I started going through the house and talking with her, find out that she's a chemist, which my father was, and I am a medical chemist, so we had a lot in common. And I saw a Bible and I went to grab for it, thinking to buy it, and she said, oh, that's mine. So I said, well, at least we're on the same page. So anyway, I spent about an hour or so going through the house and she said anything was fair game except a dehumidifier downstairs. So I found this pillowcase with the sheets flat and fitted. I've been having a quite good time on vintage children sheets and it did come with a comforter which was, um, it was pretty cute, but um, I passed on that because that would be difficult to ship and so I got all those sheets in their good shape. I found some fun doilies. There had been a bunch of ones even bigger than this and I didn't quite know what I would do with them so I passed on those and just there was a whole box. I almost took the box but I just picked out a few and look at this. I'll probably take that apart and put that in my store. Those are just beautiful. And this one with the little tiny flowers on the edge. And I don't know if this was like a collar. And then I think this is probably one of those kind of like elongated pillow covers. It looks very vintage. It's very pretty. I don't know if that's hand stitching on there. I mean, it could be something else. I'm not sure, but from the way it looks, that's what I thought it was. And then they had some, ooh, bright. It is pretty bright neon color, but it was Hunt Club XXL. And I've also been having a good time with men's large clothing. And this looks like it has not never been worn. Then a large Columbia rain jacket with the hood that comes out of the neck. There was one spot right there. But I'm not sure if it was paint, but overall in very good condition. Also in the closet, I don't know if I can show these very well, these 100% um, wool vintage dresses made in America. I couldn't pass on that. And here was a cute little, I can't really see it real well, cute little dress with a jacket. So some nice clothing items. And then a hot pad, I assume. And these don't seem to be going for a whole lot of money, but I just think that is just a neat vintage item. And being in the medical field, I appreciate that. And then I love these cake picks, all these different. I love the vintage cake picks. My mom used to make cakes for us each birthday. And so I really like those. And then just some gold braided trim and such. Just a bag full of fun stuff. A plastic cover. I, um, I think it's Scavenger Life. I listened to their podcast. And they realized when they were, I don't know, moving that they had um, furniture covers. And that they're quite expensive. And they had found some new ones. And they were selling quite well. So... Like if you're wanting to cover furniture to paint or if you're going away for the winter and you just want to protect your furniture from dust. So 
I was putting things in a bag. I was kind of calculating how much I would offer her. I knew how much I had in my pocketbook. And this was just a, a nice book. It said it was given to someone in 1934. So I assume it was from around that time. And then just some fun some fun music scores from different pieces or plays, I suppose. So I just grabbed a bunch of those. I loved love musical um, theater, and I was in some when I was in high school and college, though I can't sing. I can act fairly well, I guess. And then I found this cute little doll clothes and it uh, I don't think it's ever been used the hat is still attached and I didn't in a quick look I didn't see a brand name but that's nice and then this old beautiful trim and actually some of this is from another estate sale I was leaving the first one and um, went to this other one and found a a few things. In fact, I told her, I'm going to have to go to the bank. I spent all my money at the last sale. It's really pink, pretty pink trim and fabric. I couldn't tell. On, usually on the edge of fabric, it'll have like the manufacturer or a brand. I couldn't find one on this, but it was so cute. Happy dreaming can grow for you, or happy dreams can grow for you. Just a real cute graphics. In fact, when the lady started, saw that I was looking at the fabric, she said, oh, I have some freshly laundered pieces that I haven't brought out yet. Would you like me to get them? Freshly laundered fabric. How can you not go wrong? And this, I did not realize at the time, is Beatrix Potter. Real cute fabric, just as soft as can be. And with some cute graphics with the alphabets, a few yards of that. And Paddington Bear. It looks like squares with the alphabet on it. So that would be real fun. And then I just, I like these kind of um, yardsticks. They're, of course, much easier to store. So um, I may just keep and we had a uh, railroad train set when I was growing up and it took up a big part of the basement and I wish to this day that we had it and I don't know what gauge these are or anything about them but I saw them and I thought someone might be looking for those and in the workshop I paused and had a moment this reminds me so much of my father and of course I was talking to the lady and she was a chemist my father was a chemist, and in fact, she had her own company, and she sold to the company that my dad worked for. So it was a, we just had a wonderful time talking. So I had to get those. Like I said, I had a, a private moment, and that was nice. And then, look at this. Janet, if you're watching a little angel, pray daily. I'm not really sure what the little slot is for but look at isn't she just the most precious thing and there isn't anything wrong with her she is just perfect pray daily all right and a few games um hi q it's not going for a whole lot but i could always slip it into my zivit store and someone might be looking for it and Polarity. This is about magnets, some kind of game. I'm not really sure. I did look, many of the things I didn't even look up like I normally do. But this, there's one on eBay for $75. And as far as I can tell, it's all in one piece. Neat, neat. And all the little pieces of jewelry. I finally got some junk jewels. Some of these have missing gems. Doesn't look like anything spectacular. They're not signed. I'm not sure about this one. 
It has to do with the bicentennial, and of course, next year, 2016. So just some fun pieces. Nothing signed. I did find this mug, and it was kind of um, in the kitchen, wasn't well lit. And, you know, it's signed, and it's a popular theme, but there's quite a bit of crazing in the inside, so probably not worth much of anything. But I need to remember that on my phone I have a flashlight so I can look at things over. Now these are considered tea knives, and they were made in England. And I am assuming this is Bakelite. I don't know for sure. And when I looked up tea knives, nothing came up, but that's what the label says on the box. So that's what I'm sticking with. Then I found some pieces. Some are silver plated. This one is really interesting. It's like a sailboat. So, and I, I don't know if I should clean these up or just leave them as is with the, with the wonderful patina that they have. And then I found this. This is glass bake with just one S. And look at the neat shape. Those handles are solid. They're not just a really neat bowl. And then again from um, Scavenger Life, they have sold, what do you call these? They're on, they're on cars, whatever they're called, emblems. And again, the lady said everything in the house was fair game, and these were in the workshop, actually screwed into the pegboard. And I was in a workshop, but I could not find a Phillips screwdriver, so I found a chisel and very discreetly unscrewed these emblems from the wall. So, um, and they have a number on the back that I guess tells what uh, year car they went on and what kind of Ford car so hopefully we have some people that need them on their vehicle or collect them and then I'm saving the two best things for last and also I have to mention at the second sale I was looking at some wedding dresses that were in a bag and she said there's two of them there and I started looking at them and she said why don't you just take them Okay, they weren't real fancy, and one that was really pretty that I think my daughter talked, I mean, she, my daughter's not engaged or anything, but she talks about a very simple dress, and this one was a very simple dress, but it had a piece of the rich silk fabric cut out of it. <laughs> so I will, of course, use the fabric and the little bit of embellishments that are on it, but okay. Now, at this one, the estate sale company had a lot of stuff priced like this, um, and I don't even know if that's a good value, but it said $12 for the set. This had $1 on it, and it just looked, I could tell from the tag, it was vintage. It's, um, what do they call it? I'm slurp, and I thought, I'm just going to throw it in the bag. There's one, this is from the 60s. There's one on eBay for $99. A silly little vintage plush toy. Dig those eyelashes. It's almost creepy. It would be um, Cousin It's girlfriend. And then the last piece, and this is the first thing I found at the estate sale, is a Twiggy lunchbox in almost mint condition with the thermos in almost mint condition. A square lunchbox like this went for $75. There's one that's very much, I think it's the same thing, there's one that's up for auction and they're asking $150. So, this is a nice, nice little lunch box. <laughs> so anyway, 
Those are the things that I got at estate sales. I don't normally go to estate sales because they tend to be so expensive, but when you pretty much just put stuff in a bag and they want to make a deal, and I told the lady at the first sale, this is how much I have, and she said sold. So, thank you so much for stopping by, and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.